welcome back. It's Brew Q and today on the menu, we're doing a little copycat recipe. We are doing the Wendy's Bacon Pretzel Pub Burger. It's gonna be amazing. A lot of stuff going on this thing. We're gonna have honey mustard, uh, a little pub cheese sauce is going on there, bacon obviously. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off with these uh, sauces today. The honey mustard, super simple. Uh, what we're gonna do here, we've got a half cup of mayonnaise is going in. We're going three tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons Dijon mustard, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar. And then for the spices, we just have a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper. Super simple. All right, then we're just gonna whisk this together. Okay, next step, the beer cheese sauce. This stuff is amazing. It's good with pretzels, anything you know you can dip in. It's basically like a little fondue. Uh, what we have here is four tablespoons of butter. Okay, now that the uh, butter's melted here, we're gonna add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So what we're basically doing here is kind of creating for the, the sauce here. Uh, we're gonna let this kind of cook brown a little bit just to kind of cook off some of that raw flour flavor. Now that that's uh, browned up a little bit, we're gonna slowly add one cup of uh, milk. You don't wanna add it all in at once, just kinda slowly whisk it. Um, that way the sauce doesn't break, it creates a nice creamy sauce, you won't get any lumps. So like I said, just slowly pour this in as you're whisking. All right, now that that's whisked in, we're gonna go with two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard or, or uh, stone ground mustard. We have two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. And then as for the seasonings, we have a half teaspoon of each garlic powder, paprika, salt and pepper. Super simple, nothing crazy. Those all go in, get those nice and uh, incorporated here. Now, you know what, I, I just said paprika, it's actually cayenne. Cayenne's going into this. It's gonna add a little bit of heat. You can obviously knock that out if you don't want any heat, but with the creaminess of this, it's not gonna you know, be overpowering as usual. I feel like I always say that. <laughs> Okay, wouldn't be a beer sauce without beer. So whatever lager of your choice, if you want it a little bit richer, you could go with like a porter or a stout, something like that. That would actually be, you know, add a little bit more flavor to it. We're going with about a half cup, about a half cup of the beer. Last but not least, we have three cups of shredded white cheddar. And that will just whisk, let it melt. We got our sauce. On to the next step. We're also gonna do some things with this, so we'll get to that. Okay, now on to the uh, last thing we're gonna have to make here, which is the uh, fried onions. I know this seem, seems like it has like a lot of stuff going on in it, but I promise you this is gonna be amazing. Uh, you're gonna wanna make this more than once, for sure. So for the onions, what we're doing here is we're just gonna cut them thinly. We got three cups of canola oil in a little skillet here. We got it heated to about 375. Might be a little hotter. All right, we're just gonna kind of cut them into little strips kind of like this. We're gonna batter them. It's gonna be awesome. We got our onions cut. Uh, what we're gonna do here, we got a bowl. We're gonna go with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of milk. All right, we're going with two eggs, a tablespoon of paprika. God, why do I keep doing that? That was a tablespoon of chili powder. Apparently I'm on a paprika kick. I'm not sure what's going on here. And then a uh, tablespoon of garlic powder. And then we whisk. Got a nice thick heavy batter here and then we're just going to dredge all these onions and uh fry them in the grease here or in the oil <laughs> so let's get these all nice and coated all right so now that we have these all nice and coated here they look pretty awesome 
Uh, we're just going to slowly, or you know, in batches, do these so we don't cool down the uh, oil too much. Get a nice little fry on them. So these look about perfect. Uh, got a nice golden brown to them. As you can see here, looking nice and crispy. So we'll get these out, we'll let them drain onto a, a paper towel here, and then we can get started on this burger, get this thing done and start eating. Uh, let me finish this up and we'll see you guys in a minute. Here we go. My favorite part of the day, beer of the daytime. Today we have Belgian Beavers Peanut Butter Milk Stout. Now, I'm not normally a huge stout person. I mean, I have one here and there, but this thing is incredible. Uh, pretty uh, San Diego brewery. Pretty much known for this beer uh it's, it's everywhere around here so uh let's dig into it all right so as you would expect it is black the uh head here nice little dark brown head to it you can smell the peanut butter right off of the uh, head of this thing It, it's like peanut butter chocolate milk. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Uh, so I'm not waiting to finish this thing. Again, the uh, Belgian Beaver peanut butter milk stout. Cheers. All right, here we go. We got the uh, pub cheese sauce just uh, on the side over here, not even under a burner, just kind of staying warm on the grill. Uh, what we're going to do, we just have a quarter pound beef patty. That's just going straight on. I'm not getting too crazy with it's uh 80 20. for the bun this is what sets this off is the pretzel bun all right i found this actually at smart and final uh come in a pack of four super tasty uh just adds that extra la layer of depth but also makes it that pub sandwich from wendy's like we're talking about so uh i sprinkled a little bit of water on this we're just going to wrap this in foil we're just going to kind of steam this on the grill to make it nice and soft doesn't even need to go really on the heat, just as long as it's got the ambient heat around there, it'll kind of just soften it up. So we'll let this thing cook and we'll get this thing assembled. All right, we just flipped our burger. Uh, time for the cheese. We're using Munster. We're gonna go two pieces here. And I don't want the, I don't want this to totally melt. I want it a little bit kind of firm on there. So we're just gonna let this go for just a minute. All right, here we go. We have our bun that was uh, steamed in the uh, foil there. It's all nice and soft now. Gonna lay our patty down. Uh, what's going next is gonna be the pub sauce. I'm gonna tell you this cheese sauce is, is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna go a little heavy handed with it. All right, we're gonna go with three pieces of bacon. The uh, fried onions that we had. Ooh, almost forgot one thing, one second. Almost forgot the pickles. Burger's not a burger without a pickle, right? So we got some uh, dill pickles going on here. It's kind of somewhere. Uh, we have now the honey mustard sauce. You know what? We're just going to slather that all over the top of the bun here. And there you have it. The Wendy's bacon pretzel pub hamburger sandwich loaded with flavor. Tons of stuff on this thing. It is absolutely incredible. You got the fried onions. You got the Munster. You got the... Uh, pub cheese sauce that we got not to mention the honey mustard some pickles this thing is incredible uh, i cannot wait to bite into this thing so let's get to it just first off i mean look at that can't get any better than this oh man so like i said that pub cheese sauce along with that honey mustard the flavor is just so intense you get uh a nice crunch with the pickles and the, and the fried onions and then you know the burger with the monster 
I, I can't ask for anything more. Yeah. Guys, again, thank you for showing up. We're barbecuing. It's the uh, Wendy's Pretzel Pub bacon sandwich burger thing, monstrosity. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to subscribe. Any comments, thumbs up, we're all appreciated. We'll see you guys next time.